My mother told me Charles hard times um, I had a little bit of a hard time getting to know some of these chords and uh, figure out the right inversions I'm 90% sure that I've got the right chords and the right uh, phrasing on the riffs but you know it's really hard to absorb some of this stuff you might remember the figure you know in other words the notes but then his you know, weird phrasing, this really soulful playing, but you know, once you get it down, it's a part of you at that point. So it's really nice to have this stuff uh, under your belt. So let's see, it starts with this kind of uh, B flat augmented uh, chord. We've got um, B flat, D, um, G flat, A flat for the left hand. And you kind of fan, you fan this whole chord out with the damper pedal. And then we've got uh, D, E, G flat, A flat, B flat. Played all in a row. Like that. We let that dissonance ring out. Okay, and then it comes to the My Mother Told Me chord. So he's right on that. Told me. And this is a E flat 7. The song's in E flat. So we've got E flat octaves here in the bass. D flat, E flat, G, B flat, D flat. Nice, nice big chord here. And that's just kind of a hit. All right, and then we do this riff. Oops. Okay, that's kind of one big riff. Um, the first part of it is just based off of the E flat chord. Um, it's E flat, G, with our pointer and our middle finger. Then we go F, A flat, with our thumb and uh, middle finger. Then we want to go and slide into the G and B flat from the uh, G flat, like that. And we're going to use our middle and ring because we want to have our pinky available for this C. Like that. This is where this other riff starts. So... And that's the riff. So we're sliding up to that G, hitting that C, coming back down on that B flat. Like that. And we're still kind of holding down that B flat while we're Tripping down this, the uh, the G flat to the F, and then we're going back and forth from the F and the E flat here with our pointer. All right, now at that point, when you go back to the F, you want to jump off of this and hit B flat C back and forth with our thumb and pointer. That's going to get us to our next chord. I'm going to show you the left hand in a minute because it's important that you hit this F with this chord, okay? Here we've got that riff kind of on its own at, up until that point. Now we're hitting the F with um, A flat, G flat for our A flat 7. hit B flat and C back and forth. Now when we go for that final C, we're going to hit that a, uh, G flat note again. Like that. Okay, my pinky is just ringing out that A flat. From there, in the bass we just go down 
a half step. From, so we're from A flat, G flat to G F. Okay, and now we're in the next chord is uh, G seven, and we're going to do this riff, rolling in uh, from A, A flat. Uh, sorry, B flat, A, B flat to B. That's the third of our G chord. We're going to stack the higher G here, and then down to an F. All right, so so far. Pretty simple. Now we're going to go to a, um, it's a like a B diminished, but really because we're coming from the G, it's like a G7 with the B in the bass. You know, that's how I think of it anyways, because it's kind of just walking up to our next chord, which is the C minor 7. So we've got, um, before she passed away, right? He does this thing where he's sliding into the chord. So for the bass, we're going to play B flat and A flat. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, B flat and uh, G flat, sliding up to uh, B and G here for our bass. Actually, I'm, I'm sorry, I think it might be just the, the F here. We're, all we're doing is sliding from that B flat to the B um, and using the F with our thumb. I think that's what it is. Like that. So all you're really work, concerning yourself with here is the, uh, the bass note there, the pinky note sliding. Now the chord is just uh, B, D, F. And we're sliding off of the B flat, uh, D flat. And that little melody is just F, G, back and forth. Okay. And that's leading us right to our C minor chord, or C7. But all you're really playing is uh, C, G for the bass, C, um, E flat. So far, we got... And it goes along with the riff here because we've got this and we're going to go back and forth from the E flat F like that so all right now we're going to go back down to that B diminished like that we're just playing the same B F B, D, F here. Okay, now here he's going to play a little riff to get to our next chord. It's um, a little tricky to play because you've got to kind of use all your fingers in a row like this. We're just doing a little harmony line. So it's um, B, E flat with our uh, middle, I'm sorry, with our thumb and middle. Then we go up to a D flat F with our pointer ring. Then we've got to go middle pinky for the E flat G. Now we go back to the first one, which is the B and E flat, thumb middle. back to the um, D flat F. So it kind of goes around in a circle there. And that's over our B diminished or G7 with B in the bass. Now, when we land on that D flat F, we're going to change the, the chord in the uh, bass. So it's going to go to a, the B flat, A flat thing. So from here, there. Okay. But I'm going to have to continue this on the next part.